I got uh, admission at four universities: Arizona State University, Indiana University Bloomington, UT Dallas, uh, University of Texas Dallas. University of Massachusetts Amherst I finalized uh, University of Massachusetts Amherst so it was like my dream college MSCS computer science uh, so my name is Pranav Balakrishnan uh, I come from Kerala so after 12 I got admission into uh, Vitspilani then uh, I faced some health issues due to which I had to I had dropped out and then I was uh, I was at home so uh, i joined uh, this to continue the i actually joined the first batch since then i was doing it and then in uh, 2022 when companies started approaching us for internships uh, i had applied to the internships and i did an interview with uh, sabio so i did a 3 month internship with them as a data science intern they were willing to hire me as a data scientist i started working there last year around march i decided that i wanted to pursue masters abroad uh, so i had talked to my managers and um, i told them that you know i need some more time to prepare so i i, I had resigned from the job and i wanted to prepare full time i approached the my previous manager and also the director of the company to give me a recommendation letter Uh, so along with that and then sop uh, statement of purpose and my gre and total i submitted applications i got uh, admission at four universities arizona state university indiana university bloomington ut dallas uh, university of texas dallas university of massachusetts amherst i finalized uh, university of massachusetts amherst so it was like my dream college mscs computer science Uh, I had taken a lot of uh, advanced courses in the last year so after uh, uh, I had some time so I took as many advanced courses as possible like so I took reinforcement learning deep learning large language models advanced algorithms uh, related to AI and ML so I uh, my uh, my dream is to do research in AI and ML it was there in my transcript so maybe that also contributed in the application uh take all the good courses uh, that you can the professors uh, the lectures are great so Uh, you get a lot from that on top of that if you also spend some time so for example i took deep learning and on the side i was also like uh, getting materials from other sources like reading research papers so if you put in some additional work along with the courses you can actually get a lot out of it and uh, so courses are like a uh, a great plus point if you if you pick the correct courses uh, up to your interest and put in, put an in extra effort more than what is required then that will be there um yeah and apart from that uh, plan things a little early so i gave my gre and tofel uh, very early um I mean, relatively early for the student like most students do it later i gave it in august people i think do it in november october time so that was one thing i also applied to all the universities very early um as soon as the applications opened i applied but people usually wait till december i applied in like august september time so that is another thing uh, because i think they actually value it they say that uh, you know you can apply whenever for the deadline but i think they do give some preference to people who apply earlier then um, that is one tip uh, gre even if it's optional uh, some university say it's optional but if you give it it's an additional uh, signal that you can send to them that you are good if you can get a good score in gre that is definitely a uh, plus point uh, in gre like the maths section is relatively fine but english is hard so um yeah you you should uh, ideally prepare english in gre yeah sop is also very important um, make sure that uh, you write the entire uh, story so for example i dropped out so it's better to actually address it in your sop rather than just not talking about it um because uh, then they'll at least know that uh, like you, you actually get to present your side because once you submit the application you cannot uh, you cannot follow up or anything so when you do it actually paints the full picture uh, explain your goals and if research is your goal explain that yeah i mean things like that